does really well, right? Does Windows 7 get developers? The net consensus was yes, but you're only getting limited OEM support. Basically, each of the major OEMs are giving you one, what's called an A device, the top-end flagship device, so you've got some nice high-end stuff out there, but you are not building volume, right? Do you understand that? So it's, it's one device, a high-end device. How well does the NA do? The N8 is a dismal failure, right? Does Nokia's cross... No, you've got big problems in the developer community because they're seeing you do a whole variety of different stuff and they can't make sense of it. You're not attracting developers. This tablet bombs, right? And Vodafone 360 is killed. Minutes, you've got till quarter past. And this is 2011. Okay, quiet everybody. Let Vodafone espouse their wonderful strategy here, having just dealt with the fact that 360 bombed. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to try it again. <laughs> this time, uh, we, have, we have a deal with, or we met with Microsoft that we'll try and push two phones, two high-end phones with Microsoft OS on it uh, in our portfolio, and we get revenues back from Bing as a result. So we purchase plus the usual charges. There is something... But Microsoft agreed to this? Yeah, Microsoft. Well, yeah, in case they, they are going to help us push the... The OEM to get two of their high end phones with our OS, basically. Okay. And then we'll leave their OS with the board HTML5. Go ahead. Um, and then Google, Nokia, you're on. Okay, Google is. So there will be a heavily subsidized ad based phone with Google and in partnership with Google and Nokia. Oh, sorry, could you just speak up a little bit? Oh, sorry. Thank you. 
there would the plan is to release a heavily subsidized ad based phone or the phone that's funded on ads uh, for emerging markets in low end with Google and Nokia. So three three teams, right? You okay with that? Google. Uh, for Vodafone, we are trying to roll out. We have music downloads, fast track music downloads. We are trying to roll out movies and TV episodes in similar fashion. Uh, same with Voodoo pricing for movies and four bucks for per episode for TV episodes. Our big major focus for all our apps, all our services is HTML5 and widgets, and we'll keep continuing that. And any platform that comes on Vodafone will have to support HTML5. Uh, we are trying to consolidate our wireless infrastructure, so we have LTE, WiMAX, LTE going on with Verizon. WiMAX, we're still thinking, and 3G to figure out what's the best strategy across markets. And we have uh, mobile payments in Africa, in different, but we've been working on NFC mobile payments, near field communications, and we are hoping to roll that out in Europe. Cool. Uh, Questions? Yes. For, for the uh, movie and uh, other content downloads, do you have agreements with media companies? We do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. But you should specify what content you've got. Uh, we have. So he was so having just been looking at this, <laughs> new movies you can get, but they're relatively expensive retail. Old movies you can get actually decent margins on them. Major sports, very, 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 very difficult indeed. You've got to negotiate the rights upstream typically with each of the sports organizations. They've won a great deal of money for it. And it's critical to a bunch of players like Sky and Fox, so really hard. They got rejected at this round. Current linear TV. Yeah, very iffy. You've got to give me a lot of money to do that because of the potential loss of affiliate fees and because of how important it is in other geographies to that. So okay. I want a lot of money. I want you charging at least three or four bucks an episode retail, of which I'm going to get to keep almost all of it if you want to go do that. Um, TV back catalog? Yeah, fine. I'm much more reasonable about this. Easy access to niche and long tail content. So you can't just think about content. You've actually got to think about the economic motivations of each of the content players here. And about what they're paying. What about broadcast? That's what I meant Who's by broadcast? that's what I meant by current linear uh, TV. Oh, yes, they make so much what's... money out of affiliate fees that the four or five big guys who control key chunks of the broadcast TV, Fox, Viacom, yeah. Disney, NBC Universal, are being very tough about how much they will make available under what conditions because of the potential cannibalization of their affiliate fees. But if you mm -hmm. just put a tuner in a phone. If you put a tuner in a phone, you can absolutely get the free to air stuff. Yes. And another question on the bank, NFC banking. So who are the primary partners there? Is it the other carriers? Is it banks? Uh, we, is it the credit card companies? No, we are, we are looking out of the deals for that. So we're still investing in it. I mean, we think we are ready to roll out. We need to work out the deals with banks. There are banks. I am assuming Professor Davis yeah. would represent the banks now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll work out the deals with banks. We haven't done that yet. The banks have actually been the ones who stand to lose a lot. Yeah. They've been very reluctant. Must Master guard and those credit uh, yeah. It might be easier to win. It's typically worked well when it's been an end run. The right. yeah, POA is supportive. They think they can, because you know, the, the, they think the carriers don't want to handle the, the debt, you know, yeah. potential loss, mm -hmm. so they think that they can take the risk, risk that they could do that for the rest mm -hmm. of time. So, okay, yeah. cool. Last year, we're going to push um, exclusively in the, um, I talked. I talked to the judges about the fact last year that we were going to be preparing for this stuff without announcing it publicly, with the exception of our very low end. Um, we're going to roll it out through our entire product line. So, uh, launch for that, first of all, the previously announced basic smartphone beginning of next year. We're going to bring our N9 onto that platform midway through the year, and also the, uh, the you know, relaunching our tablet with the Android OS uh, in that time frame as well. So the, the, 